<laughs> I'm booked too. Thanks for joining me. <clears throat> yep, I'm here after a library pickup. It is really hot <laughs> in my car. I uh, don't need this long sleeve thing on anymore. I have some people in the back of me that are questioning their parking skills and if they should get uh, closer. So we'll, we'll see what happens with that. But um, it's a Friday. I've already been at the library because I'm off today. I had, I had a little hand, minor hand surgery yesterday. It looks worse than it is. It's only this part of my finger and mm, this part of my palm. Um, I needed to get some sea urchin spines out of my, out of my hand from um, about six weeks ago when I went on a diving trip. That's a whole other story that I'll tell someday. But it was a shore dive and I slipped. Um, all right, well, I have just a mishmash of holds here. Um, and admittedly, some of them I don't remember or now I'm thinking, oh, I don't know. But, you know, I took all the holds anyway and I'll uh, sort it out. But um, one of the more recent ones that I put on hold that I know I'm going to get to is this Nat Natalia Ginsburg. Uh, the Little Virtues. This is the Emily's Walking Book Club pick for May. Um, if you're not familiar with Emily's Walking Book Club, it's something I learned about from the um, Book Club Review podcast. And um, I will link her Instagram because she just has such an eye for picking books. So I have read one other Natalia Ginsburg and I loved it. I don't recall which one it is. And I got Trespasses by Louise Kennedy. This is the um, Women's Prize long list? Short list? No. Um, and I am eager to dig in. This is a story of um, a, a young woman in Northern Ireland in the, in the time of the Troubles. I also got another, is this Women's Prize? Um, Wandering Souls by Cecile Pinn. There is somebody stopped next to me. There's some good music on. Um, yeah, Wandering Souls. This is the Vietnamese story, I think. It's written by Cecile Pinn and yeah. It's about a, um, a Vietnamese family who's trying to come over to America. That's their, that was their original plan anyway, on a boat and some bad things ensue. And then what happens afterwards? That story of survival. And, uh, oh yeah, I don't remember where, I don't remember where I found this book. Um, Natural Beauty by Ling Ling Huang. This might have been in the New York Times. It's, um, I feel like I'm one of the first couple people to get this book. It looks really new. Um, this is a debut novel by Ling Ling Huang. And she's a, oh, she's a writer and a violinist. Yeah, she plays in a couple um, ensembles. And it says she is somebody who plays a piano at a conservatory. Sly, surprising, and razor sharp, natural beauty follows a young musician into an elite, beauty-obsessed world where perfection comes at a staggering cost. So I must have read something about that book somewhere. Who knows? The thing I'm really excited about, besides Trespasses and then Natalia Ginsburg, Ginsburg, is Monsters. This nonfiction book, uh, I have not read any nonfiction yet this year except for memoirs. And this one is a book about, uh, yeah, about some um, people, mostly men. I'm, I'm assuming there may be some women examples in here too that are beloved, famous people, but then are not um, because of their behavior being exposed. And so um, in recent times, we um, can certainly use a couple different people as examples, one of them being Bill Cosby, um, Woody Allen, Picasso, P 
Polanski, Hemingway. I've heard some really good things about this book. Um, I love the cover. The cover is just perfect. Um, can we love the art and not the artist? Um, that's the, I think the thesis of this book. So, or whatever you would call that. So I'm eager for that. And here comes somebody with a shopping cart. So I'll just wait for that. Um, Penelope Fitzgerald. This is a Booker Prize winner um, called Offshore. And I got this idea by um, looking at Bernie Lombardi's post on um, Instagram. It Check his uh, Instagram account out. I get a lot of ideas from him. And he reads a lot of the prize winning short list and long list, but he's also reading uh, the, the backlist of Booker Prize winners and this one popped out and um, I've read a couple Penelope Fitzgerald so when I saw Offshore I looked for a couple other um, other ones that weren't in but that's all I got uh, I hope you're having a good day and um, I'll talk to you later thanks for checking in